Sometimes there is only one clear route down a rapid, but on other occasions there are multiple routes and choices. Here, on this rapid, the water sweeps to the outside of the bend, while on the inside it's quite shallow. We can now see the faster water clearly on the outside, slower to the inside. The top of the, the main section, a large rock splitting the rapid. We want to really be the side of it. It creates an eddy and slow patch of water, and beyond it all, a wave to finish. So I'm not doing a proper eddy turn, I'm just sliding out to the bottom of the eddy. That enables me to stay on the inside of the bend, slow, shallow water. And that means that as I come round the corner, I can line up very easily with the standing waves and just flow down the left side. And to make things simple again, I'm going straight through the wave at the bottom. So just a closer look at the same route, and you can see I'm actually scraping along a fair bit, bouncing off a few, few rocks. But here's the key bit, I'm doing very little at all to get on line for the main wave train. Keeping the blade uh, active so that uh, I can control the boat as it bounces around straight through the wave at the bottom which could be wet if it was much bigger but now as a totally separate move I'm doing an eddy turn to my left. Instead of taking the final wave straight I can go at an angle cut through the corner and that way I'm straight into the eddy in a single move rather than a two-parter. Alternatively I can run for the right eddy putting the angle on now and again it's one move boat goes through past the wave and straight into the eddy. Going for the right eddy at the bottom isn't as easy as, as it first looked because you're coming down fast water and you have to go across some slower water it's going to try and turn the canoe to the right hence the two big stern sweeps before I get on the line to drive through into the eddy. We're now taking a slightly more adventurous line. I've started over on the far side, so I've now come across the strong current. Nose is hitting slow current here, so I've got to work to keep the boat on line, start its turn, and I'm aiming for the eddy in the middle of the river below the rock. Here's the angle. Boat and blade anchored in, so quick control strokes. I need. Different view, slowing the boat, now turning it. I had to kill the speed so I didn't run straight through the eddy. I had to swap uh, to run this left handed, and that gives me one advantage that I can drive the boat forward more easily onto the, the angle to go into the eddy. The problem is that when I come cross deck, it's much harder to control the speed of the boat. And so I'll quickly swap back and I find that move easier when I'm right handed. Once you're in that middle eddy then you've got to come back out again make a decision where you're going. Good looks over my shoulder to make sure I'm well established where I am where I'm going. Trickling the nose out trying to pull the turn with the back in the eddy. And now I've got the angle I want I can accelerate and straight through the corner of the wave and into the eddy. And one final run down. Setting up the angle for the eddy. A little bit of push forward. But now I'm going to have to kill the speed. And the eddy is pulling the boat round. The paddle there to tidy up the turn back up the eddy, look over my shoulder, another look, letting the water take me around while holding back in the, the stern in the eddy. Now going back down that slow water eddy complex, 
and I could easily then just angle the boat through the right hand side and again straight into the large eddy. Many ways to run the rapid. If you've enjoyed this video please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe please click on the icon in the bottom right corner.